Hello, um, Taurus is what I'm doing today, you guys, for a reading. So I've decided to do things a little differently this round. I'm going with the moon, um, the moon, the moon phases. So, um, I'm doing the reading for Taurus under a Taurus moon. So I feel like maybe doing the readings under this moon, um, that's under the sign I'm doing it for may emphasize more people if they have a moon in Taurus or it just brings out that Taurus energy more. So that's why I've decided to do Taurus. The other moon, um, there's three different signs this week. Um, we got Taurus, we got Gemini, and then we got Cancer at the end of the week. So I'm going to try doing it this way and see how the readings um, come out this round. So um, I am going to start with, I did just do a collective reading. I did it yesterday, but I just posted it today because um, I had to work and there wasn't, um, it wasn't uploading and all that because of the internet and all that, but it should be up now. And it was a really nice message about forgiveness and stuff, accepting um, opposite energies and not judging. And there's a lot in there, but we're going to go with Taurus right now. Um, I'm going to get three of these. This is the Enchanted Tarot. I am using a lot of Monty Farber and Amy Zerner's um, decks. Um, I got, well, a lot of them here. I got the Enchanted Tarot. I got um, the Intuitive Oracle, the Creative Oracle, and the Wild Goddess Oracle, which are all by those same um, creators. And then I'm also doing a Journey of the Love Oracle, um, Alana Fairchild, Verzili Writing, and Richard Kahn, Kahn, Soul Trees, Allison, um, Williams, yay, I think so. Um, and then Colette Baron Reed with the Wisdom of the Oracle, and also the Shaman, or Shaman's Dream Oracle. I believe that one's, um, yeah, that's Colette Baron reed and Alberto Veladio, and that's the artist. But let's get three cards for Taurus. I was going to turn on the air conditioner. It's already starting to warm up. It's fall time. The weather keeps fighting. You know, they're, they're fall and summer are kind of battling it out here. Um, and it's already warm and it's still early in the morning. So here's the first card for Taurus. And we got the Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Hmm. I'm getting two different energies here. One being fiery and passionate and feminine and the other being um, logical and kind of, um, you know, one's a lot more vulnerable, one's a lot more guarded energies. You could be trying to balance out these two energies within yourself right now, um, or this could be... Um, two different people we're dealing with here but um this is the queen of wands and the king of swords you know one's very magical passionate fiery and ins inspiring and the other's very logical um i'd say more conservative more um and i'm also getting kind of a, that judgy judgmental energy coming in here you could be trying to balance out this um fiery feminine kind of energy with this kind of very logical um air energy that's going on over here and then six of pentacles that's like you know maybe one person bringing the fire and the passion and the the inspiration and the kind of magic into a situation the other one bringing like the logic and the the rules and the structure and the um, that kind of energy you guys so um the six of pentacles this could be a given like i don't even necessarily look at it as just give and take it's just the balance knowing that um there's a balance between this air energy and this fire energy and one's ma feminine and one's more masculine. So, um, let's go ahead and get some more on these. I'm going to get, um, the way I, I'm kind of doing this just like I did the collective and we're going to get two, um, of these, uh, the dreamers journey. I keep wanting to call it the traveler's journey, but it's uh, the dreamer's journey. Um, queen of wands here. 
stillness. And that is that feminine energy. It's being still. It says a period of rest and inactivity. Go within for the answers you seek. And this is kind of um, the way these are coming to me is like this side is more like kind of energy that's kind of you've been through or been going through or work working through. And then this is kind of what has potential to come in or what is in the air. Just not maybe you don't see it yet. Maybe you aren't feeling it yet. Um, and I do have to say, I don't say it enough, but energy is always um, you can always you may not be able to control all the energy going through the air, but you can control how you handle it. You can control your reaction and your emotions to it. You can detach from it. You can embrace it. You can go with it. You can go against it. Um, it's up to you um, what you choose to do with the energies available to you. So the stillness, the Queen of Wands. So maybe not moving a whole lot um, in the passionate and the fiery and the taking the kind of leader role in that feminine energy. There's a stillness here. Like maybe you've been quite still, quiet, not maybe expressing yourself, maybe not um using your um, passionate creativity to the best you could. Um, but maybe there's a reason for that. There's probably a reason. Um, there's a reason for everything. <laughs> but um, that's kind of looking like maybe where you have been kind of... And then let's see this King of Swords. Transition. Natural progression of change. Realignment and release. So I've, um, this King of Swords energy is really coming in here for you. Um, to help balance out um, something. There has been a quietness, a stillness, no movement, really kind of a stagnation um, because I feel like you've been trying to balance something out within yourself between the mind and your passions. Um, and you're going through or getting ready to, if you aren't already feeling this, you're really, really working on logically releasing some things that just need to go um, so that new things can come in. <laughs> I feel like you were feeling like um, there was a like a... Um, I'm feeling like that bareness, like when you were in this kind of still or like this hermit mode, like it's interesting. And then you maybe there's a feeling here of needing to um, I, I'm going to get more on this before I um, say more about this stillness in this six of pentacles. But I feel like there's just something that like when you were in like this mode, there could have been a um a finding that there is more things that you need to release or more things that you need to let go or more of some some things you need to work through to transit transition into the next energy or the next phase um we will get some more on this okay so um i'm trying to okay we're going to go ahead and get a uh, wisdom oracle here on this side Stillness, Queen of Wands, right in the middle is the Six of Pentacles. Really, really, really trying to um, balance out, you know, um, the fates. This came out in the collective. This is really, there's, okay, so the energy from this is like, there has been things that have happened that are, are faded. Um, maybe you've been in a quiet, kind of solitary place, realizing that some things have happened um, that are just faded. Um, it, it's, it's interesting because I, I get this this message in the collective that like we've also gotten used to the idea of certain things being our destiny or certain things we are stuck in and this is what we are meant to be doing so this is what but a lot of that is conditioning a lot of that's what we've been told that we were supposed to do or whatever and there's like this feeling here of going within and asking yourself um is this what i'm fated for or is this my destiny or um do i need like there's a feeling here of um bringing more to either balancing out more within the self or bringing more to your life or your situation to help balance it out. Um, but I feel like it has a lot to do with actually releasing a lot. Um, maybe it's your idea here of um, the fates. I feel like that is kind of an energy moving through right now where it's like um, this, this fate energy, but it's like, we can't go back and change what's already happened. It was faded. Things happen for a reason. We may not always understand those reasons, we, um, and maybe that's the stuff we need to release here with this um, transition. And I feel like that that is, I feel like maybe you've been in a quiet place kind of contemplating like what's already happened. It's like been happened for a reason and having to move forward passionately and bring um, what you can to, um, to balance yourself out. But I feel like a lot of it has to do with like releasing some things that um, feel faded and feel like um, either this is like, 
meant to happen or this hasn't been, you know, like that idea that like this is how it's supposed to be or this is how it's not supposed to be. Maybe that's the thing too. Um, but I am feeling like something's already happened where you had to sit with it and you kind of were feeling, okay, this is meant to be. This is like my fate or this is like, and there's like this. There's this really passionate energy here um, and this really logical energy. The fates. I am going to, um, I read this in the collective, but um, I am going to just read the, and it did come out, I believe, up, right? Um, it's 17. And it's like understanding that um, things are, some things are just, they're meant to be, and we're not meant to understand everything that's meant to be. Um, the essential meaning, fate, karma, acceptance, like there's been an acceptance or something that, um, in the stillness, um, that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. You might have been going through this time where you were really looking at this and going, okay, I can't change that. I know what, what's been has been, and I there's no changing that, but there is this releasing that, releasing that thought that you could change something that's already been faded or already happened. Um, that That's the energy I'm getting. So let's go ahead and get a um, Shaman's Dream Oracle on the other side here and see what comes out for you, Taurus. Oh, and we got one right away. The Drifter. Yeah, this is this gives me that Six of Swords vibes. Um, I've got this in a reading before. This is a relatively new deck, but it's called the Drifter. And um, it's this boat, the sailboat going in, which is air on water, okay? And it's going down this very narrow path, okay? This very narrow hallway going to the next energy or to the next place. Um, and it's pretty, uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I do feel that with this card. And it says experiencing life as it comes. Um, maybe realizing some things are just there to um for you to learn from it's faded you kind of sit have been sitting with that it's helping to balance you out logically to release some things that maybe you you've done a lot of um learning from your experiences and you are really really taking that in and you're learning what needs to um come with you on this next into this next energy or this next phase of your life or you need to leave behind i get that six of swords energy from that um that's recognizing all that stuff that you um, are taking with you matters in your next um, energetic space is what I um, feel from that. I am going to read that drifter um, drifter card. Um, at least the shorter thing. I am trying to make these a little shorter. My collective was really long, but it says, what lights you up? Experiencing life as it comes. Seeking the essence, but not knowing the form. It's like knowing what you want, but not knowing what it's going to, um, not putting a, um, like a fate on it, putting a, like a, um, expectation on it. Just knowing, um, you want to move forward. Just knowing you want, you're, you're like, see that light at the end of the tunnel and you're heading that way and not having any expectations of that knowing that, um, everything has happened for a reason. Maybe you've been doing some real, um, like inner, reflection on that and inner soul searching on that um kind of like why do things happen and like looking at what's happened and kind of just going okay there are some things I just cannot change and there's some things I cannot control and there's some things I have to let go of in order to move forward um I feel like you are in that kind of in-between energy right now um with the six of pentacles here it's like balancing between this really passionate energy and this logical energy still um it says, when the drifter appears, it's a sign that it's time to cut the mooring lines holding you to the dock. It's not important to know the des destination before you set sail. It's just time to take um, that. I feel like this is mental action with the King of Swords here to release some things um, about, like, faded things that have already happened that you um, have no control over and you can't change. Um, that's what I am feeling. Um, it's not important to know the destination before you set sail. It will become clear as you leave port. Do not wait for a map, as there are none, to where you are destined to go. But be sure that you do have a compass to keep you true. And your compass is always your inner guidance, your your heart, your soul, your spirit, um, guiding you to your next um, your next energy, your next um, your next place. 
Okay, um, yours is your pure love and your intention to be free even of your own beliefs and preconceptions. And that's what I was feeling, like this belief of something being faded or something um, being even could could have felt bare, something even being faded as bare or barren. And then we actually realize, oh, there is some things here um, that I need to let go of still. Um, there's just some still some feeling here of releasing some idea of thinking about this kind of stuff that's already happened that has been faded or kind of um or believed to not be um changeable or can't be balanced out which with this passionate energy um i feel like it's actually this king of swords could be a helpful energy right now um with you because it's all um kind of being way more logical instead of like more passionate and fiery and they all did come out reversed but it's something you're probably working on right now. Um, few appreciate the energy of the drifter. Here you might not seem to be doing anything worthwhile or meeting someone else's expectations. But you are the only one who understands that others are running full out on the hamster wheel and getting nowhere. And this is that energy of like, it looks like maybe you're not, like to everybody else it might look like, oh, you're not doing the work or you're not, you know, whatever. And it's like a lot of stuff's going on inside here, I feel like. Um, a lot in the mind. A lot of releasing, a lot of changing and transitioning into your next energy. I do feel like you're like that in between. Even as you let your mind wander, releasing it to go on daily walkabouts, walk it back home regularly to deliver news from the cosmos. You could be really tapping into um, your un the unconscious parts of yourself and listening um, and really taking some, some lessons away from it and really um, trying to see what's actually um holding you back or what's not setting you um free from the fates i feel like the fates the fates has been kind of an interesting energy around the this this what's this energy coming through because it came out exactly to yesterday and i do shuffle these and it's just this idea of being kind of and she you can see on this card her eyes are like covered i feel like um, you know, you can't see what's going to happen or what has happened or why, but just kind of trusting that it's happened for a reason, but also not surrendering to um, the idea that the future is all faded too. It's like we have a part to do in what we release and what we hold on to. We can't control the energies moving through, but we can control how we react to it or how we um, embrace or accept or, um, and I got this whole message, you know, um, it's just interesting. It's like, you don't have to be blind to okay we can't, may not be able to see why things are happening but we don't have to be blind to our part in it and we don't have to be blind to recognize that hey we actually by releasing by balancing stuff out by being either more passionate or more logical or whatever this is for you we can move forward. Um, we do have a choice here. We don't have to stay face down in the tennis in that ten of swords. This this is really really coming through again with that. And of course, I did that collective yesterday. We we're still in Taurus's uh, moon, so this could be just the energy of this moon. Um, but I am getting that. So we're gonna get a little note card here that just has it's like one of the tarot's, but it has a couple little quotes on it that go with that energy. Um, and we're just gonna see what comes out here for you, Taurus. Oh. And we got 13. This is the death card. Yeah, there's a transition going on here. There's a um, a transition, a change, a chance at a new beginning here of letting some old stuff die. I feel like that's where you've been is like letting stuff die. You've been in this stillness, kind of just letting the leaves die. And now you're ready to release that and go forward. Um, there is some things here. I feel like um, it says just when the caterpillar thought its world was over and that's what I said that's what I was feeling is like you felt like things were barren and faded to stay this way um maybe there was like a feeling of like this is just how it's supposed to be like that kind of energy but it says it thought its world was over and it became a butterfly and it's an old proverb and then we got an affirmation that says the divine within me is eternal um you know recognizing that no matter what's happened the divine is always with you and no matter what has happened in the past or what you've experienced there's always, you can always make light of it. You can always go within and you can always um, 
shine the light on it and bring in that divinity, bring in that goodness into even stuff that has felt barren or, um, you know, this, this energy, um, the dead, because this is the death card, you guys. So it's like stuff that has felt dead is coming back alive. Like, and there's actually, you're finding that there's more stuff that maybe needs released or more stuff you, you have to bring to a situation or, um, balance out something within yourself. You're, you're doing a, a lot of digging. I feel like about this or have been, um, it says what is dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. The gray joys game of thrones. And then the affirmation is I shed away old patterns, beliefs, responses, and even my physical self to rebirth myself as I choose to be today. The past is the past. It's been set. It's the faded. We go through things for a reason. Um, we don't know all those reasons, but when you let your spirit shine, when you let it speak through you, um, I am going to put that up here, but, um, and then we got the nine of water on the bottom, which is the nine of cups. And it's like, we all have our own life to pursue, our own kind of dream to be weaving. And we all have the power to make wishes come true. And that goes against this faded energy. It's like, my past is set. For whatever reasons, this has happened. It felt very bare. It felt, something feels like it's dead, like the past, something, you know. But there's new life here. And there's something coming in here that's like, hey, but I can still make my dreams come true. I can still do this. Um, it says, as long as we keep believing, our dreams and our wishes can come true. And that was Louisa May Alcott. And then the affirmation is, I welcome miracles and magic into my life. When a person makes a heart wish, that wish resonates through the currents. And things will happen to give the person the opportunity to make a wish come true. Like a hand offered and accepted ambition. Yeah, I feel like um, there's just something you've been really recognizing. There's stuff you can't change, but there's stuff you can. There's stuff you can release to move forward. And there's stuff that you can do. Uh, mentally and passionately and with your fire energy and your air energy to balance something out within you so you can move forward and experience your life um as it comes not as it has been and there is a feeling here of something really you you want this happiness this um you know and there's something definitely reigniting here um with this death card it's like something coming to life within yourself that maybe you felt was dead or barren um this could be it could be anything, you guys, but I am getting, um, I am getting that. So let's go ahead and get, um, a couple of these, uh, this is the journey of the journey of love. We're going to get two of these, you guys, and we're going to get one for over here by the fates and stillness and the queen of wands. It's like, there's been a passion you weren't, um, very fiery energy that you've been very still with, um, and maybe that's also like a part of you that you kind of um, are trying to balance out with this King of Swords energy. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Fire and ice. Fire and ice. That's crazy because we got the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. And it's like that same energy. And it's exactly like that. Like that. We got the Queen of Wands on this side. You can see the orange and the fiery energy. And then we got this King of Swords on this side. And it's that ice but it's like frozen water. It ain't even movable. So I feel like you're really using this fire and this water to kind of melt this ice and it's creating like more of a balance. That's um, the fire and ice. I am going to read that, but there is definitely a feeling here of um, bringing these two energies together. And kind of really going into it, going into it. There's like a portal in the middle of these two energies and this passion and this logic and um, going in between the two and kind of, it, and that was interesting, it was um, in the collective and it was about riding the wave right on the edge, you know, of like storm, kind of just knowing you're walking that fine line between passion and logic and there's this also this ship going between these two walls and it's like, but there's still a passage through there, there's still a way through. Um, the Six of Pentacles energy is right in the middle, balanced. Let's get one for this um, transition. King of Swords transition. This mind changing. This change of the mind. This working on um, releasing some things. Um, rebirthing yourself in a, a new energy here. Okay. Dance of the planets. And on the bottom, the falling. Okay, so this is the Dance of the Planets card. And I don't know if I have actually... 
read that one. But it's interesting because there's these two people holding hands going through this, all this energy. I feel like all this energy is the planetary shifts, is all the different stuff that's affecting us. I was talking about the energy moving through and we can't change the energy that's moving through, but we can, um, we can see it and understand it and go, okay, this is affecting um, me. You know, this is affect, and I'm, you know, it's interesting. It's really beautiful. I'm actually getting like, these are the two, um, It's almost like here she's very alone going through this, um, trying to balance this out by herself. And then here she has somebody um, by her side. It does remind me of that Six of Swords over here, that transitioning energy, that going to the next energy, but with help and guidance. And it could be the plants are really supporting you and the universe is really supporting you right now in balancing out this masculine and feminine energy to move forward. Um, I am feeling that. So I am going to read. Um... Oh, one second, guys. I... Okay. Sorry. All right, so we are going to go ahead and read the 37 here, the fire and ice. Uh, you are learning to hold the tension of opposites. This has been the energy, you guys, um, of those things that don't immediately seem to go together. This passion and this logic, they don't seem to go together, but there's a six of pentacles in the middle balancing it out. There's just something passionate in you that said, no, this is bare. There's nothing here. And then there's this logical part that's like, yes, there's still stuff to release here. There's still stuff. This idea that um, I can't have these, like the idea of the fates that I can't have these elements or these, um, this mixture of whatever in my life. Um, there's like this feeling of being bare and alone and like not being able to um, combine these two in here. On the other side, coming in, and they're all combined, and there's a million different colors, and there's balance between this masculine and this feminine. Um, it's beautiful. Ah. Within your being, it says, oh, excuse me, of those things that don't immediately seem to go together. Within your being, without collapsing into confusion, judgment, or denial. Yeah, so it seems like it wasn't going together, and like there was this feeling here of being confused and being judgmental and denying some things like, wait, I really do um, want to like kind of blend these energies or do something. Maybe it isn't there. Like maybe this stillness was part of that reflection of like, there's more here to release. There's more here to move forward to something like that. Um, we, it says uh, there is passion and serenity, creation and destruction, new life and death emerging within you. And that's this death card over here too. It's a whole new balance in, within coming in for you. It's going to help you um, move forward into the next energy. And um, this is really good. I've been feeling this. Um, with your guys' readings, there has been a huge um, changes and lots of stuff you guys have been working through and working on. And this is just one of the parts. But so sometimes this is hard to handle because there's new life and death emerging within you and within your relationships. Things are changing. Things are shifting. Um, things are being balanced out. And it might feel really unstable and chaotic this happens when big energy is coming in and it's like nope you don't belong in this energy like that's the message i got in the collective yesterday is like oh well that don't belong here but then it's like wait a minute um i can bring these opposites together and it looks like um the ones i'm reading for right now are trying to bring this together and are actually seeing here that um it is hard to handle we want to make things simpler to just let go of the conflict and complexity and choose one or the other. Yeah, because that would be much simpler than blending all this and doing the alchemy, doing the work, um, tempering yourself, blending. And, you know, I get that temperance vibe from this all the way. Um, it's just making that inner match that outer and what's logical match the passionate. And, like, the past doesn't have to be the future, you know, drifting away from that idea of the faded um, and this not being able to combine two energies here. That's what I'm getting. Um, and it would be much easier to just pick one or the other, but it's like, that's not how we're made. Uh, you are a grand enough soul to be able to withstand the rigors of death, to go deep, to live fully, to let the divine have its way through you requires a willingness to stand at the center of the pairs of opposites. I love that. That's the six of pentacles standing in the center of these opposite energies um, and letting the divine kind of come in and speak to you. And I feel like there has been some uh, messages, some stillness going on here. A lot of thinking about um, how you're going to move through these very opposite energies and combine them and to move forward to be happy. And just, it's a good energy, um, but this is a hard energy 
especially when we don't want to um or we don't see see the way but it's the universe does bring it to us we just we get those opportunities we just have to take them to see it and be more understanding and um less judgmental and forgiving and not so narrow-minded and not this way or that way like that's the thing um let's see where are they let the divine have its way through you requires a willingness to stand at the center of the pairs of opposites she is standing at the center of the pairs of opposites and eventually know that they are connected to each other, that they exist only in relationship to each other, to breathe and simply be. If you are consciously feeling the conflict in your life internally or externally, then you are being initiated through fire and ice. Stay present, be patient and wait. And I love that because that is this. It's like there's an, been a kind of, there is an initiation kind of going on between blending these two elements and all these elements belong together. A lot of times we'll say, no, the mind doesn't go with the heart and the, the earth doesn't go with the sky and all this. And it's all one. We can make it all work together. And that's where all these beautiful colors come in in this blending and this connection. I love it. If you are consciously feeling, oh, I already read that. There is nothing to fix here. Stay present, be patient, and wait. There's nothing to fix here. Just awareness to step into as divine creation continues to unfold through you. As you master this initiation, initiation is not always pleasant, you guys. I can tell you that. Um, it's like you're going through it. Like part of you is just like fighting like what you feel and your head's like fighting the way you're feeling and your feelings are fighting the way your head's talking to you. And it's just like, you're going through this like spiritual initiation where you're going to have like, you're going to find that, man, like I can't listen to my ego. I can't listen to, um, you know, I have to, I have to blend this somehow. There's it's and it's really rough. As you master this initiation, you will find a sweeter nectar of bliss dripping within. This Oracle brings you guidance that the conflict you feel within and externally is a sign of your spiritual growth. Soon you will grow larger than the conflict, but for now you do not need to engage in it. Simply be present and allow it to work its way through you until you are strong enough to have outgrown the conflict, giving rise to a clear direction. So if there's any inner conflict or outer conflict, it's saying don't engage in it. Let it sit with you. Sit and take in the lessons of it, feel it, and you will be ready for it by um, kind of like eventually you'll be able to have this conversation with yourself or with another or whatever this is. Um, you'll be able to blend these two. It's just saying right now, you're going through an initiation and not to engage, to, to kind of take in all the energies that you're trying to combine here. Um, allow it to work its way through you. <sighs> Giving rise to a clear direction. It may seem impossible, beloved, but it is not. You are a vast being. Give yourself a chance to realize this and have patience. All is becoming, including you, according to the perfection of divine design. This oracle brings specific guidance on any relationship matter requiring a decision till you have simply clarity in your heart beyond the pushing away and pulling closer. Then it is time to wait, for there is more yet to be revealed. Only when your heart speaks clearly, then you will do well to act as it feels truthful for you. So right now, if you're having any um, feelings of feeling like you need to push something, push like away something or pull something in closer it's saying if you're fighting those two in a relationship in your life to wait there's more to be revealed and only when your heart speaks clearly you will do well to act so when your heart fully is um when you've done this temperance and this this blending of these two this logical and this passion energy and it's come into a balance for you you'll know and you'll move forward and that's this drifter energy moving forward after the, you've released some things blended some things You'll move forward. You'll transition. And there's a little poems with these cards. And it says, there is a beautiful silence now as I hold your hands. And this is on this side. And we got that stillness right next to that card, you guys. As I hold your hands and listen to your eyes across a span of moments called time. There are no words that say as much, nor walls that could confine the wings of our feelings or the rhythm of our eyes. I love that. All right, we're going to go over here to the dance of the planets. I love that. 56. It's definitely some there's always stuff going on in the planets but i feel like it's been exceptionally strong recently so it says there are forces larger than your own personal destiny at work in your life now there's faded stuff happening there's um bigger things than just the small stuff happening that we have no control over stuff we just have to um keep doing our work keep doing our blending and our balancing um although they are not in inharmonious to you you may feel as though you are being blocked from 
or on the other hand, rocketed towards the heavens on a roll that nothing can derail. Ooh, either way, the planets are dancing as they will, and there is an effect upon your destiny. It was meant to be at this time. From rising, there will be gentle rest to recover before rising again, and from restrain, restraint, there will be propulsion into greater stratospheres. All things in time, according to the wisdom of the greater cycles. It is okay to trust in the cosmic cycles and divine timing. After all, what point is there to rush to the bus stop if the bus doesn't depart until tomorrow? And what point is there to hold back if you are ready and set to go? And this is that same energy um, that said, well, don't move forward. And that's the thing. She's like thinking about um, stepping through this. Like, and I think that's when this happens. Like, but she's missing. Like, it feels like she's almost, she feels like she's doing this alone. Like, but then there's this energy coming in where this masculine comes in. This masculine comes on board with this feminine energy to step through this like portal into this new energy that's, and that's this masculine coming in, this king of swords. That's why I did feel like he could be helpful. That this energy, this, it actually is feeling like this fiery feminine energy within you and this um, logical masculine energy is coming together. But it's like, oh, I can't yet. Um, he's not on board or this part of me isn't on board. Like the lot, like the king of swords isn't on board yet. The passion is, the feminine is, but the masculine is. And he's stepping in, coming in with, after, like, with some release, um, you know, transition, um, the progression of change. Then there's like two going through this um, portal. But, and that's like the whole, the whole self going forward. And that's what I'm feeling. And this is all coming together, like in the planets and stuff too. It's nice. And it says, uh, and that's this, it brings the uh, turning in the timing and rhythm of your life now. Especially if it seems out of your control. That is the dance of the planets happening through you. This oracle brings a message. Pray that the planetary forces... Funnel blessings of grace and unconditional love, mercy and joy to you now. It's saying, you know, that's, I got to chuckle at that because it's like, well, here's a message for you from this oracle. And it said, pray, pray for mercy, pray for joy, pray for love. It doesn't say control anything. It doesn't say, it says you will be guided. Listen to your guidance. The planets are working through you. It's, you're going through a transition. You're going through a change. You're going through death and rebirth. You're going through a lot, another level here. You're leveling to another level and getting everybody everybody on board um and there is this it says just pray that the planetary forces funnel blessings of grace and unconditional love mercy and joy to you now that their movements through your life may happen in such a way that you can make the most of it these are the times when big shifts are possible supported by cosmic movement so pray for grace and then enjoy the ride and i'm going to read the little poem in those days time was ours we walked in the rain and held each other's hands, your lips warm against my skin and your soul melting into mine. As night became morning amongst the cobblestone walks of now forgotten places we called ours. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like remembering, you know, it's beautiful. Remembering what's yours. Remember the forgotten places, the passionate, the warmth. That's that fire and ice energy too coming in. Hmm walked in the rain and held each other's hands and they, look at that and they're just walking and they're holding each other's hands going through this energy together um whether this is part of yourself you feel like you lost or this could be have to do with the earthly matters or whatnot but that's what i'm getting from that so let's go ahead and get um this um we're gonna get a intuition oracle here That's beautiful. And we got the teacher. That's interesting because when I was um, pre-shuffling, this card popped out too. And this is really, you know, it's the universe is your teacher. It says, I study and share wisdom with those who will value it. Um, it's learning the value of wisdom, taking the lessons as they come, learning if you have something to give or teach to do that. But I will look on the bottom here. And it's the benefactor. And this to me, when, especially with these two together, says I enjoy life now as I take steps to realize my new tomorrow. Um, it's like the teachers, the universe, and the lessons that, that, that you're going through or you're taking in um, are, your, are your teacher. And if you sit and you listen and you kind of do the work, 
um, you will benefit. You will be a benefactor in this. You will benefit. Um, you will take the steps into tomorrow. You will move forward. And there's a really nice energy here of um, that that being um, profound with the planets, with the dance of the planets and everything. I feel like there's really some opportunity here to move forward, to learn, um, and balance some energies out and move through some energies that maybe before you thought were like just impossible to move through or impossible to blend or impossible to get through but it's not so um because you you definitely are being supported um let's go ahead and get a um, goddess oracle here a wild goddess oracle you see the archetype here or it's really nice um let's see here and we got the poet Make your life a work of art and your art a work of life. See the poetry in the mundane and you will be rewarded beyond measure. Yes. See the beauty and the poetry and the art and the spirit in the mundane, the normal, the average, the small, the stuff you may not, you know, look at things twice and see the beauty and spirit in it um, that it took to create that. That's what I'm feeling. There is a feeling of um, gratitude here and grace and moving forward. Um, well, is that not? I'm trying to get that in there. There we go. All right, what do we got on the bottom? The humorist. The refreshing joy, exhilaration, and skills learned from creative play and laughter are their own reward and can help you to solve your problems. This could feel like a heavy time, and it, you could need to just um, really look at the bright side here. Look at the beauty in the whole mix of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get one of these. Um, creativity. Oracles here. Oh, and we got one like pretty much right away. Oh, it's that planet energy, y'all. The planets are very um, in play right now. I feel like that is really affecting the potential and the possibilities here for a balancing within yourself and a transitioning and a releasing to move through some energy that maybe you felt before was just faded and bare and just not blendable. And there's something coming in here saying, yes, it is. And you're moving forward through it. You're moving forward through this very, there is a path through this. And it's through the emotions. I felt that with this drifter card too. This is an emotional path. This is an intuitive path. This is a psychic path. This is built on water between very hard structured walls. That logic, that king. Um, and then you got this feminine energy in the middle. Um, and then the feminine, the masculine getting on board. And then we got these um, planets in this. And it's like a barren, like hilly, kind of deserty looking place. But like there's trees growing there. And what's it say? It says evolve. Creative ideas evolve out of the invisible and profound nothingness of preverbal consciousness. Like things that were nothing, things that were bare. You're getting, you're getting, you're receiving information and energy from places you thought had nothing. Like there was nothing, but now there's something coming up here and rising in you and creating a whole, um, a movement within yourself and it's with the help of the planets in the universe right now i feel that um, that's really nice and then on the bottom it's explore and there's that boat again on the water that six of swords energy as you're going through this all these energies shifting changing it's saying and it and it's said over and over again so far let it move through you let it go through you Trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek. I love that. It's beautiful. All right, Taurus. So that is what we got so far. I do have, um, we are going to go ahead and just get um, a couple of these and we're going to sum this up. Um, this is just could be animal spirits, timing. It's just a mix of all kinds of different stuff. Um, with this intuit oracle, we're going to see what's going on a little more. We get a little more. Um, maybe a little more detail, but then also maybe, um, whoop, of the act, like kind of the story here, what's actually physically here going on. We'll see, um, what comes out for you guys. Oh, and I feel like I need to take that one and that one just came out. So we're taking that one. And then this one. Okay. On the bottom, we got the bridge. That's really nice. This is that transition. This is going from one energy to another. This is forming a bridge from one place. You don't think you can get to the other place, but you can. But we have to use our 
all of, and we got the universe's help to help build that bridge between two different places, heaven and earth, inner and outer, um, uh, over here and over there, this and that, um, building that bridge. I like that. Um, we got the magnet, ooh, longing, desire, gravity, attraction, charm, seduction, yearning, and the field of influence. There is, okay, so that's coming in um, as this fire energy, this queen of wands. Um, this could be that part of you that really um, desires and wants to move forward and is passionate. And there could be even something here you're really attracted to moving forward to and through. Um, there is this like um, light shining around this too. It, it's coming off the like planet. It's like, there's like, it's a big, big energy. But it, And then we got fixed, the middle. Oh, and then... Um, Middle of the season, purpose-driven, confident, gets it done. Stubborn, bold, brave, reliable, conservative. I was feeling that with this King of Swords. And then the tracks. This is steady forward movement, moving forward, this transition. Um, go the distance, direct route, autopilot, traveling. And that's all this energy of this, only this is train tracks here. Moving forward, there is this fixed energy in the middle. Um, where nothing's really, I feel like, moving right now. Um, like, actually physically moving. Um there's, but there's a lot going on in the planets and stuff to help get both these energies on board, like blending these two conflicting. And this is what it was saying. Like, hey, if you feel like you'll know when it's time to move forward and you'll know when it's time to sit still. Um, I love that. The field of influence. Longing. Yeah, you are longing to move forward. Right now, I feel like um, there's just a real stillness here um, in the middle and she, she's like a ballet dancer, like really balancing. And that's the six of pentacles here. And it almost looks like the same girl, you guys. Like, it's kind of crazy, but it's like that same energy. And it's very um, determined to do the dance, balance, balance and do this. But it's, um, I feel like you're just in in the middle here, really in the middle here. Um, and that's that center energy, but you're really headed into, boom, like this blending and it's just like allowing that to happen and blending these two energies. And it's a magnet. There's just something drawing you forward. All right, guys. And then what was it? Oh yeah. It was the, um, I'm going to look again, the bridge. Yep. The bridge. There's something here. Communication connecting integration that's what i'm feeling is the integration of two energies either within the self or and it, it's usually within and without it's like oh this doesn't match up inside so it's never going to match up outside but it's that integration of the two um coming together so that there's a moving forward um and there is a path forward it is through the emotions it is through the psyche it's through the feminine energy um the masculine i feel like is working on getting on board here um this logical or this ice this ice is the fire is slowly melting the ice. The passion is slowly melting the logic away, but there's a fine balance between the two. And I feel like that's why you're kind of fixed in the middle because you know there's a fine balance between the two. And that's good. And there's, there's a between the tracks too. You know, it's just like getting on the tracks and moving forward. So Taurus, that is your guys' reading. It's a very nice reading. You guys are going through a big um, initiation, a transition, um, a death and rebirth, a parts of your um, old beliefs, your old judgments your old stuff is falling away or it's working on it um there's a blending going on here there's some temperance energy going on here needing to be um on getting that temperance energy like overall um but it's definitely about not overindulging not um being extremely on one side or extremely on the other it's about sitting in the middle and balancing these out and letting those energies work through you so that you can move forward um so that is and letting the planets because we got all this planetary dance of the planets and evolving there's a growing happening here. I love this. So this is your guys' reading. Um, I hope it helps somebody. And as always, I am grateful for you guys coming, watching your readings, your likes, your subscribes. And I hope you guys have a good day.